Sam Rowling, the host of the great event this weekend with many stellar performances featuring athletes such as the defending Olympic champion Matthew Centuritz, 100 meter sprint sensation Travon Bromel, and world 1500 and 10,000 meter champion Sifan Hassan. And even though we will briefly go over all highlighted results from this event, I do want to take the time to talk through the 1500 meters and is Matthew Centuritz back? I think that's the main question everyone is asking. And also the question of the day is with Centuritz's performance at this race and Gusa's record last week, Cooper and Cole Hawk are performing so well at the minute, as well as the likes of Eric Avila, Craig Engels and Joshua Thompson. Who is going to make that 1500 meter team for the Tokyo Olympics? And quickly before we do get into the video, we are delighted to say that this video is brought to you by Right Track Sports. They're the market leaders in securing talented athletes a place in the NCAA. And if you are looking to combine education with track and field and want to follow the illustrious list of track and field stars that have competed in the NCAA, Right Track Sports work with elite athletes from Finn McClure, Amber Anning, and Davisha Patterson to name a few. And Right Track athletes' average scholarship received is $50,867. Their results are tested and proven to get the best for you. So if you're considering your options, whether that's looking for how you can keep pursuing that Olympic dream or even if you want to extend your athletics career, inquire today and visit the link in the description and find out how Right Track can help you. Or visit their Instagram page, RightTrack underscore sports and message them today. So after a pretty rough start with a fall from Mo Ahmed and on the way down he did drag Eric Avila down as well. Centuritz seemed to position himself well near the front of the pack behind Pacemaker and also British athlete Jake Haywood. And this pretty much remained the same after the Pacemaker dropped out with Jake Haywood taking the lead and Centuritz really only went into final gear down the last 200 meters as he broke away from the field and won in a time of 3.35. Second place was Jake Haywood who did a lot of the work up the front so that's great to see from the Oregon Track Club runner. And Mark Scott finished in third with a strong last lap making up for his slow start as he was involved with a controversy down the first 100 metres. I'm just going to show this again right now so let us know what you think. You'll have recalled the race. And we're off here in the men's 1500 metres. Oh. Field. Now onto the rest of the races, Mo Ahmed came back in the evening session to win the 5,000 metres ahead of Andy Butchart in a time of 13.18. Other athletes in that race were the likes of Sam Parsons who ran 13.23, Brooks Beast, Josh Kerr who ran 13.23 as well which is great to see from a 1,500 metre athlete. And this race was pacemaked by the other faller in the men's 1,500, Eric Avila, who also ended up competing in the men's 1,500 metre B race. The day before featured some fast 10,000 meter races with Zuhair Talby running 27.20 to take the win ahead of Emmanuel Bohr who ran 27.22, on Athletics Club athlete Joe Klecker who ran 27.23 and BYU athlete Connor Mance who ran 27.41. YouTube sweetheart Morgan McDonald was also in that race and ran a time of 27.58. On the women's side of things that race was won in 31.13 by Andrea Sekafian with the likes of Sarah Hall, Amy, Eloise Markov and Jessica Judd all running under 31.30 and running the Olympic qualifying standard. And no surprises in the men's 100 meters, Travon Bromel continued his excellent season with a win in 9.92. Impressive performances was by Katie Snowden who is an unattached athlete in the women's 1500 meters. She won in a time of 4.02.98 and beat the likes of Kate Grace, Jessica Hall, Emma Coburn and Gemma Wiki. So an amazing performance by her. And the women's 800m was won by Laura Muir in a time of 1.58.71 ahead of Ellie Wilson from Atlanta Track Club who ran 1.59.68 as well as three other runners who all ran under the two minute barrier which were Adele Tracy, Hannah Green and Ellie Poirier. And finally the women's 5000m was won by none other than Sifan Hassan in a solo run where she ran 14.35. So after this weekend's races, as well as the Pac-12, SEC and all the other American races, sorry I'm not 100% sure on all the names, let us know how you think this pans out for the rest of the season in terms of the NCAA championships and which athletes qualify for Tokyo.